thank you all for being here, guys. We are ready for you all. Okay. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that we're going to be taking an old concept condominium and applying it to a photovoltaic farm. And the purpose of doing this is actually to make the units or the power availability to everyone in the community. So people who rent, people who are on Section 8, people who live back in a valley and don't get enough sun would be able, be able to buy a power unit that will generate enough electricity to pay their bill. And we're using the condominium structure because people in Hawaii understand the condominium. They understand the governance. Also, we have to do a public report, which is approved by the state and goes through a process to make full disclosures are made. So buyers will have some comfort with what they're doing. Right now, the present system is numerous solar companies selling with different contracts. And you have to be an attorney to figure out what they're selling. We're going to try to simplify and standardize the process. And our goal is so people, Hawaii can be 100% off the grid or photovoltaic so electricity does not have to use fossil fuels. And we believe that this use of the condominium structure will allow that to happen. They're not buying an apartment with a bedroom and a bath. They're buying photovoltaic panels that will generate electricity. And like a condominium, they'll elect their board of directors, they'll operate, they'll control it. So this truly is giving it to the people and giving them a chance. And basically this will help, I think, everyone, regardless of what economic bracket they're in. People that rent will be able to buy. People in high-rise condominiums will be able to buy a condo and generate electricity for themselves. So it really is, I think, a revolutionary addition to the photovoltaic market. And we're actually standardizing that market so that people now, if they're buying into a photovoltaic condominium, they'll know exactly what they're getting and that a standard is being met. Do we have any questions? Can you explain uh, just uh, the background behind you and eventually what that, what that story is like? The, the oh, behind me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, well, 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 okay, I got it. Okay, basically, Okay, you're up on the road. This is called Old Military Access Road. Below you is a property we purchased, and you can see where we're going to be putting the panels on this level area. It gets enough sun sign. Uh, we're basically just past Waikeli Shopping Center. The gulch here is Kipapa Gulch, the bottom of Kipapa Gulch, so that'd be the area. So how are the folding panels here going to get the electricity to my house? Uh, they don't get it to your house. Under the program, under Community Solar, we have one bill, we're pumping it into the system. Hawaiian Electric will automatically credit it to your bill. So if your bill is $300 and you bought photovoltaic panels equal to $300, you'll probably get have no electricity charge, but you will have a charge for the bill. They charge $25 or $30. So the homeowner is going to be buying individual panels from you? Correct. They're going to buy, they're, they're buying what I call a photovoltaic apartment. And the apartment might have a, one may generate $100 worth of electricity, one might generate $500, one $300. So you'll be able to buy based on what your bill presently is. If you're a renter, you can buy, and when you move, the panel and the condo moves with you, the credit moves with you, right? If you decide to move to the mainland, you can sell your position to someone else. So it's, it's an asset that you can keep. And for renters, it, I think it's an absolute home run. When will folks uh, have access to this and go through that process? Like uh, uh, to, today, we're announcing the start. We have a list where people can sign up. They're interested. It's a new concept. We're trying to understand what they want, what they need. With that information, we hope to be able to go in and actually start, uh, I would hope, relatively quickly. I mean, there's still the process of Hawaiian Electric approving the process and the uh, Public Utilities Commission. Again, this is going to be 100% local, no mainland participant, maybe a lender, but uh, it's it's all going to be local. Any kind of time frame as to when, uh, when this might be available? The, if I had my way, we'd be starting tomorrow, but you've got regulatory approvals you have to go through. The regulatory could take up to a year. So I'm hoping you'll be faster than that. I'm hoping that the government will see the logic in this. And if we get an overwhelming response, I think there'd be a lot of uh, pressure on everyone to give the approvals quickly.
And have you... so someone might have, when, when could potentially someone uh, like a apartment owner have access to this? You mean access in terms of generating electricity? I would think the soonest would be a year. Is there a minimum on a panel which is one or ten or a hundred? The, there's no, the minimum is what is your bill. Right? So, so if you have a bill of $100, you want to buy enough panels to generate $100. If your bill's $300, you want to buy enough panels for $300. But then sometimes it's too expensive, so there, can you just buy like five or ten? Yeah, we, we think of a thousand panels and we can split it up uh, based on what they want to buy. Every panel could be a unit. So you could say, I want to take five units, we'll make it one condo of five units or five panels. Okay. So there is no minimum, there is no maximum. Uh, and again, I mean, a hotel could buy, a hospital could buy a bunch of panels, a small apartment building. Anyone who does not have enough space now to generate photovoltaic, this is where I think this project makes a lot of sense and all the future ones we do. Have you established how many panels the project would have and how many megawatts? Um, that, I think you got to ask our expert because when it comes to this, I am not the, I, I'm the real estate expert. So as soon as you get to electricity, you can ask, she, she'll be able to answer that and better If somebody wants more information on this, where do they go? Uh, we have a web page, uh, www.saviosolarsolutions.com, and we have a little explanation there that we have a list you can sign up on, no obligation, but then we will send you updates and information and let you know what's happening. We're gonna be having community meetings. We really want to understand what the people need. It's never been done this way. You know, where we're trying to come up with something that is for everybody, but it's one big solar farm. Usually they sell you panels for your roof, your house. So we need to understand what the, what the mechanism is. And for like renters and low and moderate income families, there are government programs to help with the purchase. So we want to take advantage of all of that. Our goal is everyone should have photovoltaic. Everyone should have their, their electric bill erased or partially erased by photovoltaic. And for people in Hawaii, I think it's a big deal because it's an extra couple hundred dollars a month to spend on your family. And you know, it's so expensive here. Every savings makes sense. So right off the bat, you're, you're, you're thinking that photovoltaic system will be cheaper than what Hiko's charging? When you say cheaper than what Hiko's charging, Hiko's the one who's going to be paying us. So if their rate's 20, right now I think they pay like 12 cents. So if you wanted to cover your bill, you know, it's, you'd have to buy enough panels to cover the dollar amount of the bill. That's the key, is the dollar amount. Not how many panels. What is your dollar amount of the bill? And that will tell us how many panels you'll need. Why do you think this concept hasn't been done? To be honest with you, I don't know. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised I didn't think of it sooner. I was listening to a legislative hearing and they were complaining about how the low and modern income cannot buy, how people that rent can't buy, how people in high-rise buildings don't have enough roof space. And I sat there and said, well, you ought to do a condo and sell everybody a unit. And the light bulb went on, and that was about, what, three months ago. So I thought, oh my God, this thing would work. So it's, it ha I'm sure it's been done somewhere on the mainland. I, I can't imagine it hasn't. You know, in a normal situation, you're buying into a corporation, an LLC, you're signing a power agreement. And, you know, my, even myself, I never put photovoltaic on my roof because I look at the contracts and it's like, well, forget it, too complex, right? Well, this is going to be standardized. So, so everybody, everyone we do will be a repeat. People will know exactly what they're getting, exactly how it works. The government will have reviewed the condominium docs. They will have viewed the public report, which will disclose everything. So I think local people understand condo. They understand how it works. They're comfortable with it. I could make it a co-op and accomplish the same thing, but I don't think people in Hawaii would understand it as well. You know, uh, if you look on Google Maps, if you look on the rooftops of Alamoana Shopping Center or Kelly Shopping Center, those big corporations, they got hundreds of panels already. Correct. And your property here is big, but it does seem like it's limited. So oh. who's to say no. that a company won't come and buy all your panels and make them owner or I won't allow it. My goal is not to service a big user. My goal is to service the little guy, just like my condo conversions. They're, they're below market, they're for the individual, they're not for investors, they're for owner-occupants. 
This project is for the little guy. I own 600 acres out here. This is just a small piece of it. But I'm also willing to buy property elsewhere. I'll be honest with you, if, if the people in Hawaii respond to this, over half of the population does not have photovoltaic. So I don't care how many solar farms we build, we would need to build that many more. So, so this, is not, this is our test run. I, I am not an expert in solar. I'm not an expert in electricity. I am an expert in real estate. And I understand this structure solves almost every objection a buyer of solar would have. And if people are comfortable with it, and they can buy it, they can reduce their bill, they don't have to do any of the bookkeeping or accounting, the Hawaiian Electric does that, and their bill disappears other than the service fee of $25 or $30. They can sell it if they move, they can give it to charity when they pass away if they want to. It's, it's a real estate interest like any real estate interest, it's just you can't live in it. It only generates power. If the regulation process goes through successfully like you hope it will, do you have an idea, a ballpark figure of how much you'd be investing to, to construct the project and get it up? Uh, the, the, the project itself, I don't think we, we aren't changing how they're built, we aren't changing the cost. So I haven't really del delved into that because I'm not messing with that. We're going to do what every other photovoltaic company does. The difference is we're selling it as a condominium and we're selling it to the people and we're basically selling at cost. We're not looking to make a large profit on anything. This is just like my condo conversions. We make enough to pay expenses. It's really more of a public service than a profit maker. So once this is established, I'm assuming there will be maintenance fees like in your condo or anything like that? Correct. And again, you don't have an elevator, you, know, you don't have a swimming pool, you don't have a roof. You have a yard or a land area you got to take care of, so we'll probably get goats. And then I'll start the uh, Savio goat cheese farm. And we'll sell the uh, goat cheese to help subsidize. Okay. And is this, um, would this be available to everyone on the island? And about how many do you think, how many people do you think you can serve with this test? Well, my, my guess is there's probably hundreds of thousands of families who do not have photovoltaic and just pay their electric bill. This is just a model, this is a sample. If we're successful, we will probably end up building a hundred of these, island-wide, okay? Uh, eventually, I'd like to go to Maui and the Big Island because Hawaiian Electric's involved there, and again, the same system would apply. I think if we see this as working, other developers may decide to get in and, and do the same thing. The difference, though, is I'm not doing this as a, as a profit maker. I'm doing this basically to cover expenses. I will make a small profit, but nowhere compared to what other uh, operators make. Any idea how many acres for the, this first test process? Uh, th this property here is about, the usable area is probably in the 20 to 30 acre range. Oh, you guys make me tall, dark, and handsome now. I forgot to tell you that before you started. Um, I have a question. <laughs> Can uh, anybody, including single family homeowners, pre register to receive solar if they don't want to go through the, the regular process? Yeah. No, they, don't any, want, anyone, they don't want panels on their roof. Anyone, anyone who wants solar power, regard, it could be a Pizza Hut, it can be a business. It can be a beauty shop, it can be a renter, it can be someone living in public housing. If they have an electric bill, they want to get involved. Now the whole purpose is to get rid of the electric bill. And how do they pre-register to sign up to participate in your program? You go to SavioSolarSolutions.com or Power Savio Solar Power Solutions. Well, you're right, it does say that. I it's need glasses. Open, it's See, open. you took my glasses. I know. The website is available today, as of today. It just launched. I don't no see it. obligation whatsoever to pre-register. You want to talk about the no obligation? I mentioned that earlier, but there is no obligation. It's like a typical condominium. We're not si asking people to sign a contract. You're just saying I'm interested. We really want to understand what the public wants. You know, a condominium, we know what they want, what features they want. Here, we don't necessarily know what their needs are. 
So the first people we get to are going to be having this discussion about what, what, what is their bill, how are they looking at it, what can they pay, do they need financing, what kind of financing. You know, and again, if we see a lot of people need financing, then we got to go to the legislature and say, okay, guys, you talk about photovoltaic, you talk about the need for it, now it's your job to step to the plate and provide all these low moderate families with the funds they need to make this happen. So again, we're, we're going to basically try to work with everyone so that everybody qualifies. That's the purpose. Speaking of funding, um, I'm not sure if you know at this time, but you will be requiring some type of upfront deposit or fee like a condo or um, all of the financing at, work. At this time, we're not requiring anything. You're just telling us you're interested. And then at the point we get ready, once we've got the, the, the structure it designed, we have it priced out, we're hoping to do 100% finance. I own the land free and clear, so I can pledge the land as collateral. So some people should be able to buy with no money down, but there's government programs to help people also. So we, we will structure the financing once we know what the people need. I've already talked to a number of local banks and they are interested. And you know, originally they said, oh, we'll take the first two years of income from the solar to pay off. And I said, no, I want you to take only half the income so that you pay off, but the people get half the benefit right away. And so they're thinking, okay, we could probably do that too. So we're gonna work that out with the financial institutions. But I, I, right now, I just don't know what my market is, what the people want. And, and that's what I'm trying to determine. Part of um, regular uh, solar companies is tax credits. I'm assuming that tax credits will be uh, if we have tax credits, we would sell those to an investor to help reduce the price to the public. We're not going to pass the tax credit on because we're assuming we're going to have a lot of low and moderate income buyers and the tax credits are wasted. So we would probably sell them locally and that will subsidize or reduce the price to everybody else. She knows about solar. You guys have any questions for Allie Andrews? Sure, I'll ask her. Come on, Allie, I'll take the kids. Okay. My brother called 20 minutes ago panicking because he said, Peter, I bet you don't know what a kilowatt is. And I said, you're right. Has something to do with it? <laughs>